They are one of the most powerful tools in a life or death decision. An officer's gun, often used to protect or defend someone's life. They're designed to fire only when the trigger is pulled. But there's one gun, critics argue, does just the opposite, the Six Hour P320. In your opinion, how safe is this gun? It's not safe at all. It's basically like carrying a hand grenade in your pocket with the pin pulled. Eventually, it's going to go off. Pete Villani is a certified firearms instructor and an expert on the design and function of the P320, the gun all Milwaukee police officers use. It just takes the right amount of circumstances with the internal parts being a certain way that's going to cause the gun to discharge on its own. According to police records obtained by 12 News, those circumstances came to a head in Milwaukee twice in just six months. First, after a foot chase, July 14, 2020. The result, a Milwaukee officer shot. While being placed in the back of one of the squads, the suspect resisted, which resulted in a brief struggle. During the struggle, a shot was fired from one of the officer's handguns, which struck another officer. That officer survived. Then, another incident in January. Watch as a plainclothes officer steps out of an unmarked car. Suddenly, he and the other officers appear to react to something. And while there's no audio, that reaction, one lawyer tells us, was to the officer's gun firing on its own. Look closely again as the officer's hands were full. But this is the first video where it's obvious, it's clear, you can see that it fired. The, the officer had both of his hands full. Uh, they were nowhere near the gun. Jeff Bagnell is the lawyer who shared the video with 12 News. That officer is lucky to be alive. If that round had hit him or someone else, uh, it could have been fatal. Bagnell is not involved in the Milwaukee investigations, but does represent police officers across the country in several lawsuits against Sig Sauer. I know well over 50 incidents at this point uh, in 2021. 50 incidents where this gun fires without the trigger being pulled. That's right mainly on law enforcement officers. According to the records we obtained, there was concern within Milwaukee police leadership about the P320 long before the January incident. Ten days after the first shooting, Police Sergeant Alan Groschick inspected the gun from that shooting. I'm going to use dummy rounds to load in the same configuration the weapon was loaded with. He tried what's known as impact testing to see if the gun would discharge the dummy round without the trigger being pulled. The gun did not go off, but Groschick's inspection inside the weapon led him to write a memo to his captain, Jim McGillis. In the memo, Groschick wrote, My concern is there is a potential risk of the Sig Sauer P320 pistol having an unintentional discharge with the correct chain of events. Three days later, Groschick wrote another memo to McGillis, referencing a conference call that day between them, other police leaders, and four Sig Sauer officials. According to this memo, when asked for assurance the P320 cannot fire unless the trigger is pulled, one SIG official responded with an invitation to visit Six Hours facility. Groschick wrote of that response, he did not answer the question. Groschick also recalled a different SIG official conceding a scenario which could cause the P320 to not fire at all. Groschick wrote, it would only be discovered by pulling the trigger in a deadly force situation and having a failure to fire. He concludes, I believe our department should immediately start to find a replacement pistol. Should police officers have this gun in their holster? Well, it's a hard question for me to answer, Derek. You know, certainly several departments have shelved it. Some have not. Uh, as I've said before, if it were me, yeah, I, I, would, I would shelve the weapon. The records show four days after the conference call, McGillis sent his concerns up the chain of command in his own memo, writing, it appears Six Hour is aware of a design issue with their P320 pistol, adding, the P320 is an identified liability. What's happening is, due to manufacturing problems between those parts, they're basically put in the gun unfinished at the factory. Six Hour did not respond to our questions about the P320 or the Milwaukee cases. Lawsuits claim the company's marketing once promised customers the P320 won't fire unless you want it to. The Six Hour website with that statement appears to no longer be active. Meanwhile, Captain McGillis recommended the department research a replacement gun and have officers reset their guns every shift to ensure it will fire when needed and to prevent spontaneous firing. When asked if police implemented those recommendations, a spokesperson told us in part, the department is aware of allegations regarding accidental discharges and takes them very seriously. In a follow-up, a department official confirmed as of last month, more than a year after the first shooting, 
MPD is still using the P320. In your expert opinion, as a uh, certified armor of the P320, should members of law enforcement or civilians be carrying this gun as is? Not at all. I wouldn't put that in a holster at all. Derek joins us now. As you mentioned, they're still using that gun, and you also talked about the number of lawsuits against the gun maker, Sig Sauer. So do Milwaukee police plan to join that list of litigation? It's a very long list, Joyce. In the statement from MPD, the official said the department conducted a thorough investigation and referred its findings to the city attorney's office for review as the department continues to explore all options. A check of state and federal court databases reveals the city attorney, Tierman Spencer, has not launched any civil action against Sig Sauer, at least as of today. Joyce. Derek Rose, thank you.